Good morning. Colombia is seeking to consolidate mining as an economic driver with an emphasis in a competitive, sustainable, modern, and social responsible uh, business sector. From the Colombian government, we have been pursuing diverse initiatives to drive the mining sector with the opportunities that our country offers for development of this important industry. The Strategic Mining Areas, AEM, came about as a great instrument to achieve these goals. In 2021, we started the first rounds of coal and phosphates, and it has actually shown important results. And today, we have the launch of the cold mining round, an opportunity for the coal route of world class with great importance for the country and for the region in where it is placed. We'd like to give a warm greeting to the Ministry of Mining, Mr. Diego Mesa Puja, to Gloria Pirieto Rincón, who is the Director of Mining Sectors of the Geological Service of Colombia, and Juan Miguel Duran, Prieto, the president of the National Mining Agency. And likewise, we'd like to greet as well the people who are with us today and follow this transmission via streaming through our webpage, www.annm.gov.co. And we'll actually remind you our hashtag, numeral Rondas Mineras ANM. And you can use ha um, hashtag Minero de Colombia. And this corresponds to the selection process, the objective selection process, to award an AEM foreseen in Article 20 of the Law 1753 of 2015, and the conditions uh, you have in the terms of reference and in the minutes of the contract that you can query in our webpage, www.anm.gov.co. You can also visit the webpage for investors, mineriaincolombia.anm.gov.co for investors. Likewise, the, G the Colombia Geological Service has a data room for this process, which has information and documentation in detail about the areas who are open for the round. And these are oriented to facilitate a mining project in accordance with the context and the current challenges of the sector and they actually respond to the needs and the expectations of government and communities for its proper insertion in the productive dynamics of the regions. The ANM promotes mining in Colombia and therefore it assumes the commitment of backing the activities of the companies that fulfill the best practices in the industry in harmony with the environment and communities. Now, through some images, we will show you the main aspects of this mining round and what it represents for the country, this process. The video has English subtitles. Please read.
servicio público sobre el mar Caribe. En cuanto a la calidad, el carbón de estas áreas tiene un poder calorífico estimado entre 10.000 y 14.000 BTU, con bajo contenido de azufre. Estas áreas tienen condiciones aptas para la operación y representan una gran oportunidad para el empleo y el desarrollo de su área de influencia. Colombia, con su inmenso potencial, invita a empresas e inversionistas que compartan su visión para desarrollar proyectos mineros que cumplan... Colombia invita con su enorme potencial potencial a foreigners to invest in their communities and uh, enable yourself to bid through the anm.gov.co page. Next, we would like to invite Diego Mesa Pujo, the Minister of Mining, who, as the head of this mining institution, will give you some welcoming words in respect of this round of the coal route in Colombia. Minister, thank you very much. Good morning to all members here, to Mr. Juan Miguel Durán, the president of the National Mining Agency, um, Gloria Prieto of the team of the agency, as well as the Ministry of the Services that accompanies, and all of them that are connected to these uh, transmissions, the uh, newspaper, the journalists that cover all this event who are covering this very important piece of news that we're having today. This week we have had very important pieces of news for the mining sector and today we have one more. I'm going to make a reference because yesterday we were in the province of Boyacá and we had two very important pieces of news that are associated with our policy, be that of formalizing as well as diversification and reactivating this mining sector. Yesterday we were announcing that with the National Mining Agency and with Paz del Rio we signed an extension of the, con the concession contract so that that company that has more than 74 years operating in our country to continue to operate for the next 20 years. And this is very important for the investments as well as the jo direct jobs that are generated. More than 880 direct uh, jobs in the province of Boyaca. But it's actually it's a great piece of news for metallurgic coal that we have in the center of the country, which is the one of the providers of steel in Colombia. We were celebrating one of the landmarks of formalization also in the same province of Boyacá with a mining company that became then the 15,000 mining ones that actually has been formalized as a miner and we have more than duplicated the figures of formalizing these informal miners for the past 20, uh, excuse me, 12 years and we have an articulated plan between the ANM the mayor's office, the governor's offices, and the environmental offices so that we can now have 27,000 small miners that have been now formalized before this government ends. And today we are in a landmark day as well under the ad current administration and with the leadership of Juan Miguel Duran, we have actually succeeded in having the rounds of AEMs which is the round of strategic areas that we have planned since 2012, but it was not been possible to make it a reality. We started with the round of copper strategic mines that they have been awarded, they have been very successful. There is a great interest for different investment. Now we continue with the rounds of phosphates, and now we are announcing the rounds of coal 2022 the coal route, and it's a mineral that is of great importance for the world because of the crossroad that we're having specifically in Europe in respect of the Russian invasion of the Ukraine and the demand that there is to replace the Russian coal throughout the world. Colombia has a great potential. It's one of the main producers and exporters of thermal coal worldwide and we have some assets that are just ready to be open and under this mechanism we are actually bringing it to a competitive process so that we can put those assets 
in production, the sooner the merrier to satisfy that international demand of coal that we have been expressed. We have received requests from different countries in the past few months, in particular European countries, Poland, through the World Bank we have had requests to increase the export of coal and recently, yesterday, President Ivan Duk uh, spoke with the uh, Chancellor Scholz of Germany, emphasized the need and the urgency that Germany has to be able to replace the imports of coal from Russia. And we saw how yesterday the European Union approved some sanctions to prohibit the import of Russian coal as of August of this year. And Colombia has some reserves of more than 50 years, as we saw in the video, with a high thermal content without sulfur. It is of the highest quality that it is in demand. Not only in Europe, we also have many petitions from the region in Latin America. And with this coal route that uh, Miguel is going to, uh, Juan Miguel is going to mention here in his intervention, we'll be able to position Colombia as a leader, an energy leader, not only because of the exports of coal, but also hydrocarbon, and to reaffirm that this is part of our transition of energy transition that is properly managed, that it is a fair one with the regions and that is going to be done gradually. So I celebrate being here, making this announcement, and we hope that within the next few weeks, uh, next months, we would be awarding contracts as a result of this mechanism of this ra mining round, the coal route 2022. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Minister. Now we'd like to invite Juan Miguel Prieto, the president of the National Mining Agency, ANM, given this, the initials in Spanish for coal. He's going to address a few words to us. Thank you. Thank you very much, Gladys. And thank you, Minister, for those words and for letting us know the importance of coal in our country and in the world today we have the pleasure of sharing with all who are connected in this very important launch precisely that we are going to share this new mining round of coal where we're going to generate opportunities not only for investors and, and uh, company owners but also for families where you were going to have formal employment generated and where there and where you're going to have royalties for social investment in everything that is in essence good news for our countries and for all the people who depend on the mining sector i want to start with this presentation by letting you know how we are in an international context the minister touched on the subject with his words, and we have a very positive context for coal. As you can see in this slide, we have the prices of coal just uh, with this trend in this year, and historically in this last year, it has been increasing the price. That is why we are in a very good moment to be able to generate these opportunities to all these investors and, and companies who wish to start the mining sector such as thermal coal from Colombia. Today, we actually close in $290. And as you can see in the graph, we have, it's been ex particularly positive uh, added, of course, to the demand, as was mentioned by the minister in their words. And we wish to highlight that the main producers has been China, Indonesia and Colombia, they actually position them in place 12. And the main consumers, we have countries like China, India, United States, Japan, South Africa, and the like. I also want to highlight what is the importance of coal in our country, in Colombia. Here, for example, the 
International Energy Agency, IEA, it actually generates about a th one third of all electric power worldwide. And until we have new technology, it will continue to play a crucial role. It is also said that the generation of coal has actually recovered strongly in 2021, driven by the price of gas in the United States and in Europe and the increase of production in China. And it's also stated that it's very probable that the coal will remain an important factor in the um, sort of energy pie of many countries. I want to highlight that importance of what it represents, coal for Colombia. The first thing is that for those who don't really know, in essence, coal in Colombia is very representative and has been represented. Colombia has been the first exporter of coal in Latin America, the fifth exporter in the world, and has been the first exporter of coke in Latin America and the third exporter in the world. As the minister mentioned, our coal is of the utmost quality, low ash content, high BTU power, low sulfur. So it is in good demand in the international market. Coal represents 13.7% of Colombian exports, 58% of the mining exports of Colombia, and 83.84% of mining royalties. 0.7% uh, of the G Colombia's GDP and 56% of the, uh, the Colombian mining GDP. Coal is the second export line item and coke is the fifth light, uh, light item of exports in our country. Here, I wish to mention how we're doing here in Colombia in respect of resources and in respect of reserves. As you can see from the Colombian Geological Service of 2016, we have resources measured in such a way of some five uh, billion tons and we have 6,788 million tons and we have inferred resources of some 4.7 uh, million tons in here in the graph. You can see that thermal coal has an important participation in these uh, resources in our country. Right, and now I want to take there in a more specific way in respect of these strategic mining areas, AEM, as per their initials in Spanish, and we would like to share some specific traits in respect of this launch of this coal route in this round. These are special exploration and exploitation contracts where we generate an objective selection, but on the other side, these are consolidated scenarios. Socially speaking, the agency has already carried out these processes of coordinations and in concurrence with local authorities. And on the other side, there is an access of the environmental management and social management plan that is updated. These are all instruments that allow some contractual conditions that are competitive. And here further on, you're going to know some of the aspects that we bring on the table in this mining round, specifically speaking. On the other hand, it's also fundamental to highlight that there's some it's clear rules, terms clearly defined, and this uh, sets a clear map for all investors. And it, of course, we would generate with this round additional resources for the country and for the specific regions different from royalties, because here they have to have some additional economic counter investments that would impact the economy, uh, the economy of the area of influence where you operate. So the two areas that we're launching are two provinces through our coal route. They are located in the province of Cesar. The first block is block 19, which is some 6,569 hectares with uh, some 217 million tons of reserves. And this is located between Becerril, La Jagua, the Ibirico and El Paso are the three small hamlets around there. Block 20, that you have some 2,731 hectares with resources in the neighborhood of 75 million tons of coal. And this block is placed between the municipality of Becerril and La Jagua de Ibirico.
Now I wish to comment a bit of these uh, contractual specificity that we take uh, through the terms of reference and the minutes of the contract. And the first thing is actually to point out that there will be a stage of um, of replanning within the next two years where we can generate, let's just say, or repropose or reoffer the instrument, the mining instrument and others that are in agreement to this stage that are fundamental and that you will know with the technical documents when you have them and then the other side, you start an exploitation stage. You would start exploitation, which is uh, first coal is actually very interesting because it is fundamental to point out that there will be access to infrastructure. This really helps in the logistics that we know is fundamental for the competitiveness and the exploitation of our minerals. It's how, how to take it out, and it's included in the contract established in the clauses of when you close and how you do. Um, responsible abandonment of there and we have some economic uh, spent of course royalties is one and then a payment for the use of the assets now i wish to highlight that we have brought to this contract a social and an environmental focus and i wish to point out like three topics that are fundamentally says first in the social management plan we are prioritizing the diversification of the economy of the investment this is going to help us in the future to generate transitions in the territories then another issue is the incentives for competitiveness this has been a strategy that we have been working to promote the compensation of co2 emissions and at the same time to leverage the investments of for forest economy investment this is a win-win situation for the country for the environment and of course for the activity of extraction of our thermal coal in our country and finally i want to highlight in respect of having a green operation we have generated incentives for investors that actually be processes that are kind to the environment within the operation of this mining extraction of our minerals and this is a very important message because what we really want is to promote operate green operations even in mining and now we would ask um, how to participate in this round well simply you just have to start with that first the willingness to enable yourself in the web page of these requirements they will be assessed by the ANM the National Mining Agency as well as your financial capacity technical capacity environmental capacity social responsibility and after you have been enabled then you can participate in selection where you are competitive, they're transparent, and they are in very reasonable short times so that we can obtain specific responses. Right. So for all who are interested now and connected, we'd like to highlight that we have stages in with due dates where the fundamental process is that first we open all bids of the round the cold route on the 25th of may of this year so we open the process then we'll give a possibility to present an offer per se after that those who are enabled who want to make a counter offer to who made the best offer the first bet offer can improve his counter offer and at the end of the day we would award the contract in step four and then would sign the contract per se i want to mention that since the 15th of march we have had open our data room and for the people who have access there can actually have technical information that is available for all. Finally, I would like to thank all of them, not only for being here, but actually for the interest in respect of this very important launch of our coal route 2022, that for the good of the country, of our region, of all these mineral resources that we have in Colombia, we can have the best of development results and in a very short time, as the minister can say, in a matter of weeks, of months, we can actually have some decisive response, some results, and of course, some favorable announcements in respect of this enormous potential that we are presenting. Thank you very much.
Thank you, Mr. Duran, for your intervention. The dialogue and the articulation with the territories is a fundamental aspect in consolidating mining as a driver of economic development nationally and regionally. So that is why we declare for these e AEMs or strategic reserves areas, they're associated with the dynamics of how people are autochthonous in their regions pursuant to driving the development of the mining sector hand in hand with the region. And now we'd like to see the points of view of the mayors and the governors of these regions where they have in this coal route, in this round, and the leaders of these uh, business sectors will hear their opinions. Today, in this is that we depend from the mining extraction our economy. The coal has been e exploited for more than 30 years now, and actually you have the rounds as a, the mining policy as a national policy that actually would enable us to have a greater clarity and a greater margin of development with those international companies that wish to have access to this mining round. There are English subtitles in orange, please read. Our expectation is a new reactivation and a labor reactivation for all the people who live in the, in the town of Becerril and that all the companies that are tied to the value chain are actually kept in mind priority to the mining sector. The best expectation that we have here in the region is actually in the generation of new opportunities in respect of the royalties that are going to mean greater levels of social investment. Uh, transparency and free competition is actually the key to bring in investment on coal, but also some clear section, clear messages of, of policy that let the investors know that Colombia continues to bet on coal as a strategic resource for the world. The world of coal actually occurs in a world context where the world today still needs coal more than ever to be able to have power generation to many countries that today need it. The mining in our municipality of La Jagua de Ibrico and in the province of Cesar for more than 30 years has represented like 90% of our GDP. There are more than 5,000 direct jobs and more than 10,000 indirect jobs that represents this economic activity for the region. And likewise, we have here an income for more than uh, 800 uh, billion pesos in investment in our region. Their English subtitles, please read, they are in orange ink. Colombia has all the potential to continue to develop its export capacity of coal, which is around 60 million tons. And 2050, when we think that there's go still going to be a demand of coal with the consumption, it's actually going to go to 7 billion tons. Colombia continue to be that reliable supplier of coal that comes from our AEM regions, a base of coal with new technologies, with new instruments that allow us to bring energy to many people of the regions of the world without, without the emissions that we had before. We have, we can have good mining. We are an example of good mining about the labor opportunities of the goods and services, but never again can we overlook the fact of the importance of mining in our region and in our municipality. This is important to see the vision of all the different players that we have as local um, executives of the regions and the great impact of these politicians of, in terms of coal in Colombia and the driver of the economy in this region. Don't forget that for you to participate, all people who are willing must re register their SIM through 
A A N N A minería that you could go through the web page of www.anm.gov.co and this is a free process and it's totally online likewise through the web page for investors mining in colombia.anm.gov.co you can query all the information associated with this process and with the other mining rounds that we have had so far now i would like to invite gloria prieto the director of mining resources of the Colombian mining sector that plays the important role that this institution plays in the process of declaring the strategic areas of the mining and also with the information that is available in respect of all the interested part in the data room of the mining round. Man. Good morning to all, and then we have the mining sector uh, for the rounds of coal. And the sector, in reality, as a support, uh, it has to do with the research of the potential. Uh, and then we have of the Colombian territories, these potential ones and restrictions that we have and then uh, we have been studying there for more than 100 years and how this institution has actually supported it in the research and the natural resources that we have uh, there. We are supporting there with information there for this uh, resource that we, that we have had in the Colombian territory. And today, just to highlight that we studied the potential in terms of mining resources, coal, gas, uh, all sorts of hydrocarbon and uh, water uh, for our survival as human uh, human beings and then some um, natural resources in terms of volcanic, seismic activities, mudslides, which is what we have to do. How do we investigate the minerals in Colombia? Well, we investigate them having then the geosciences that actually support any research of this type in any place of the world, keeping in mind, on the one hand, the social fabric that we have in each territory, because it's the only guarantee that we have to be able to develop our work. But once we actually have the backing of the social fabric of the social players in each uh, territory, we actually go to geological studies that naturally has been the evolution of uh, our planet until we have some fundamental characteristics in our territory. Also, we have a geochemical view on how we have that composition of terms of chemical elements because we actually, they all come from minerals. Everything that we have naturally is actually composed by chemical elements that have bonded together and make some minerals that are totally natural and that composition indicates that potential and those are possibilities that a territory has of uh, having mineral deposits but what we don't see in surface and we cannot map in surface we identify it and we place it through methods that are more deep in terms of response of physical characteristics of the territory with some methodology that the science of geophysicals that actually can give us back because we have uh, metallurgical and mineralogical studies to identify these potentials and then we investigate the minerals in, it, in any territory once we have all this on the territory uh, we make them and then we identified which minerals we're going to study and we do some specific studies for each one of the fields that I have told you about. And it's important here to have that in the case of carbons, we, our institution, has been backing these studies since we started practically. Our prior, one of our prior names was the National Geological Services provided all the support for all the studies that we know of all the carbon deposits that we have in Colombia. The information that we have is an information that is not only regional, geological, and geophysical and metallogenic, but it's also after having that regional view of a country, then we go to each one. 
of the areas and we do some more specific studies and we are focusing in there in metallogenic uh, districts but uh, uh, very important ones in the, for the coal in the sedimentary basins in the coal deposits that have that potential for our resources coal. We integrate that information, we identify some prospective areas and we bring all that information standardized with quality parameters to be able to have them in a reservoir, in a, in a sea of information where we have it structured. And as I mentioned, and it's actually very important for any investor for some quality parameters that they know which information is being provided and what information do they have access to. In the specific case of what we have here of coal, in this coal route, as we have been commenting, we have the studies since the knowledge that we have of this important resource for our country. And in that case, we provided information that is contained in our database, but also information from the mining bank that has been a great achievement that our sector has mining energy sector in the last years where we have already structured information provided by the different companies and in this case for this public offer it is very important to have the information provided by everything that is actually done in this area uh, presidents of mining companies that were there in their productive activities to that pursuit in this section of coal we have that it's structured information in our information bank that, as we said, we have been working and making specific between the agency and the geological service in Colombia as a great achievement of the mining energy sector to be able to have this information in our bank. This information, as I told you, it is comprised of data, of raw data, in other words, data that any investor can see they can manipulate and they can see what is their meaning, what is their qualities, and to make their own model so that they can get to their own conclusions. But it's also comprised of reports by documents that they have already processed that information and where the investor can see the quality and the potential of such information. That is the information that we have by the Ge Colombian Geological Service, SGC, as per its initials in Spanish, that we have provided for this data room. But we have this uh, uh, also by the National Mining Agency, ANM, because of its initials in Spanish, it has all the norms, the conditions for the tender process. Um, and uh, the, they have gathered the agency in this region that is being offered and also all the parts of titles that are tied to and associated with this public offers of area here. It's important to know that we as Colombian Geological Service, SGC, we have about the Colombian coals and its characteristics and some promising areas with high potential, but also to see some alternative uses of coal. Because in this interest, this national interest and world interest of converting to um, sustainable forms of energy and to have a responsible exploitation of current minerals. We also have research in respect of coals, of the formations of coal as sources of other critical minerals for that conversion into clean, sustainable energy that we are pursuing, globally speaking. What do they have the, in the data room? or the cuarto de datos virtual, the virtual data room. You have information, some information rules, some information security issues, and for you to have access to the data room. And there is direct assistance by the SGC to see the needs of each one of the users from that data room, but also to have an assurance from the very same information. In this data room, we actually can have access through uh, identification provided by the ANM, the National Mining Agency, because of its initials in Spanish. And then we have that follow-up of the system of the Geological Service in Colombia. You cannot 
duplicate or copy the information precisely for security reasons of the process. And this is what I wanted to tell you just to show you here some samples of our beautiful forms of carbon, these uh, samples. And we invite you to participate actively and we're always at your service in the Colombian Geological Service for any doubt in respect of the difficulty or ease of having access and handling this information. Thank you very much. Uh, Dr. Gloria, thank you very much for your intervention, but now we wish to invite you here and then we have some main ones of this uh, mining ones and the opportunities that they represent for the country. Colombia, you have subtitles, please read. Located in the north of Colombia, in the province of Cesar, you have these two areas, Calenturitas and La Jagua. Both of them have re reservoirs that are ideal for producing coal in world-class exporting capacity. These areas are in mining areas that have more than 30 years producing coal of the best quality. You may also read, you have English subtitles. They are open pit mines in approximately of 9,300 hectares with a production capacity that exceeds 15 million tons combining both operations. And also they have a railway system that connects them that with a public service and a port on the Caribbean Sea in terms of quality. The coal of this hour has a calorific capacity in between 10,000 and 14,000 BTU and have a low sulfur contact. These areas have areas that are apt for the operation. They have a great opportunity to create jobs and to develop their area of influence, their local communities. Colombia, with its enormous potential, invites companies and investors who share their vision to carry out mining projects that meet the highest standards in harmony with the environment and the communities. Please enable yourself to the, through the, A, the National Mining Agency and become part uh, and a partner of Responsible Mind that contributes to energy security of the world and builds a better country. National Mining Agency for a country building sustainable mining. Now, we have seen a new opportunity to exploit our mining resources in an orderly way that contributes to social development in harmony with the environment and with other economic activities through the process of the awarding contracts under the AEM. And we've also heard of the points of view of the different players of the utmost relevance, the political authorities locally. So with this, all interested people would have enough information and full context about the characteristics of this coal route, uh, mining route, and through it, they have actually defined through the Colombian government in concurrence with the goals of the mining policies are in compliance with the norms that actually governs this. We'd like to remind you that for you to be uh, enable theirs for this mining runs. They're actually done through the platform ANNA, A N N A, through which you have access through the web um, page of the ANM.gov.co. On the other hand, through access to the data room managed by the Columbia Geological Service, you need to request being registered through the mail promotion at uh, dot go at uh, uh, the SGC there, you must uh, promotion a n n m dot gov dot co and the strategic uh, reserves AEM areas 
to manage these resources so that we can raise their competitiveness in the international mining market. The mining round is a process of selection that is flexible, transparent, and efficient to select the best offer for exploration and exploitation of minerals that will provide great benefits to the country, to the region, and to the mining ones. We'll actually thank you there for having me here, and we hope to have you here in another opportunity. Good day to all.